Hello friends and family, and welcome to our October 7th Wednesday edition of our Boring Meditation Stuff. In the last two days we discussed the simple cases, absolutely dark action, um, for whatever connotation darkness holds, and absolutely bright or light action for whatever connotations lightness holds. <clears throat> now, today we're going to talk about actual human life, which is more complicated than this. Um, a human life involves bright and light things mixed together, pretty much in everything that we do. Um, just because you, you give some money to a homeless person or feed a stray dog or feed your family or do the dishes or say something kind doesn't mean that those behaviors are perfect. It's hard to have perfect behaviors. <laughs> they may be very positive, overwhelmingly bright and positive. Um, but perfect, they probably aren't. And so in all circumstances, it is the case that there's some amount of mixing of these two sides, um, bright things and dark things. And um, I, th I think that that is um, understood by everyone and it, it's e easily understood as well that the consequences, the effects of such actions um, would again maintain symmetry. So if, if you have a really oversimplified model for this whole thing, some action of yours is 90% bright and 10% dark, then the effects will be 90% bright and 10% dark internally and externally. Um, and if we go back to uh, what I was saying before, the kinds of action, quote unquote action, that we're talking about are only mental volitions. So I have some thought arise in my mind and that thought is, oh, I, I want to cook this person a meal. I want to do the dishes for the love of my family or for whatever reason. Um, that thought is much easier to understand as being perhaps 90% light and 10% dark than the actual act of doing the dishes. Um, and so that's another reason for us to constrain ourselves to the, the sandbox, the clean room of the mind, of our meditation practice, um, to think about our actions. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. There's a monkey screaming at another monkey outside. I hope you can't hear that right now, but um, that actually, that's a nice segue. <laughs> so this idea of the um, light and dark behaviors, actions, thoughts, and, um, and life is framed in the sutta in terms of the, this, you know, uh, this cosmology, this mythology of, um, of reincarnation. So the dog duty ascetic wants to become a god and he cries when he finds out from Gautam Buddha that he will actually wind up either a dog or a demon in the next life. Um, and it's at this stage that I, I'll go over the, the lokas described. The lokas are, they make sense, right? <laughs> as um, Dungeons and Dragons-y as they sound, um, or Terry Pratchett or whatever. But um, the, the dark worlds, the dark behaviors and the dark consequences are those of um, the lower worlds, right? The 
hell realms and those of demons and like lesser <laughs> demony gods or whatever and the bright are those of the brahmas and the devas and the other gods and the fairies and, and whatever and the mixed worlds are those of human beings and, and animals right the monkeys and, and the dogs um and i i don't particularly find the idea of reincarnation lokas the different spaces in which a person might exist uh as a totality right as an individual very helpful i don't i don't I, perhaps if you grew up a hindu or a buddhist maybe these ideas are ring <laughs> true uh, to you but not growing up in that environment i i find them a little bit um, difficult and there are two ways to look at any of these descriptions one is on a very gross level this level of the, lo the lokas and the heavens and the hells and all of this sort of thing um, the afterlife and the other is in the immediate that in the present moment in the immediate moment you are feeling one of these ways if you are full of anger and ill will and hatred and depression and everything else you are in hell um, it is a personal hell it is a an immediate hell it's very real um, anyone who has felt so angry that they can feel it in their body knows this you feel like you're burning um this makes sense to me the idea that uh that hell is here on earth that hell is now or in the next moment based on how we behave or not not in the next life not after i die but right now that makes sense and similarly with heaven that if I do something good, if I smile at someone, if I do the dishes lovingly, right? <laughs> not out of obligation, um, that feelings of love, feelings of compassion, um, feelings of well wishes and well being for others, that these feelings are the counterpoint to angry and frustrated and depressed feelings and that if i have gratitude and and devotion and um, love and care and compassion that um that these things they actually contradict the other feelings it's hard to feel those two things at once um from these two sides of the spectrum and that's why the two sides of the spectrum tend to be drawn out that way but it is possible to feel them in you know close proximity <laughs> which is why um a human life is is comprised of these you know mixed bag sort of scenarios and we're trying as much as we can to tilt the mixed bag toward the the brighter side the loving side the caring side the compassionate side we try we fail all the time but we try continuously oh, okay oh, I, should, I shouldn't get angry i shouldn't get depressed i shouldn't get anxious i shouldn't get frustrated i shouldn't hate this person i shouldn't say mean things um i should do all these other things i should feel compassion for that person i should say something kind or maybe i should just say nothing at all um and this mixed world um it is the only world we know we don't have access to a world where we feel nothing but joy and compassion and love all the time um within the mythology that world exists right the world of a brahma the life of a brahma is that he never feels pain and he never feels <laughs> angry right 
um, he or she, I think they're female Brahmas, I don't even know. If they, do they have genitalia, Brahma? Uh, anyway. That's my alarm. Um, this idea, I, I encourage anyone else who has difficulty with the idea of reincarnation, with the idea of afterlife of any sort, um, just to leave it aside and to operate in the present with the thoughts, emotions, sensations, and everything else um, that you actually know that you feel. Um, and in that respect, we know that this mixed bag category at least exists, right? And that, oh, okay, we can maybe tease it apart and then create the other two categories, but like it's not like we spend our whole life in either of the other two categories. So we live inside this mixed bag and um, the dark and light world is this world of humanity, human emotion, human mental states. So tomorrow I will talk about the category that causes people trouble. <laughs> and that category is neither dark nor light and we'll see what that means uh, tomorrow in the meantime i hope that everyone is taking good care of themselves taking good care of everyone around them and i will talk to you tomorrow about the non-category goodbye